the tree meditation. I invite you to close your eyes and take a nice, deep, nourishing breath. You see a pinpoint of light in the darkness behind your closed eyes. Bring your full focus to the point of light. Watch it waver in the center of the darkness and you begin to move toward the point of light. It becomes brighter and forms a cloudy shape. As you move ever closer, you see that it is the color green. The green color becomes more opaque and begins to blend into different shades of green until you can see fuzzy shapes forming. As you focus further, the shapes become more distinct and as your vision clears, you see before you a lush, dense forest. The forest is full of life. Low growing bushes and plants push through the dark soil up toward the ribbons of sunlight that stream down from the sky. Tender, reaching stems, shoots and leaves crowd and fall over each other in patterns of green and brown and amber. Droplets of water cling to the forest floor that's littered with damp leaves and moss-covered roots and fallen limbs. The droplets are like miniature crystal balls, illuminating the fractures of light throughout the woodland. The air smells like the rain that has recently passed and the breeze is cool and fresh. Far overhead, you see a green canopy of leaves that spans the entire sky. The forest is serene and peaceful. A tiny white thread pierces its way down into the dark fertile soil and buries itself, never to resurface. And as if plugged into a circuit, you instantly feel the connection to the whole of Mother Earth and all of her children. And quietly, after days of waiting, the hard seed husk that surrounds your sleeping chamber cracks and slides off, and you stretch a tiny pale green arm out into the welcoming woodland air. The sun passes in many arcs overhead, and your arms grow long and strong toward the patches of golden light in the sky. The woodland life greets you and warm breezes blow and caress your new leaves that are unfurling gently in the light. Small ants move past in a single line, their armored bodies in a single-minded march in the shadows of the green underbrush. Rains come, and your roots that were once so new and thread-like and fragile push down into the soil, stronger and deeper with each rainfall, firmly rooting your existence into the forest ecosystem. Tender stems thicken and branch out, reaching ever towards the patches of golden light in the sky. The moon casts her silvery light down onto the forest floor, spilling onto your leaves and stems. The air turns cold and leaves once green turn golden like the sunlight that lights the forest. The breath of winter blows through the woodland, stirring up decaying leaves and loosening others from the grasp of branches. 
A snow falls and the forest is peaceful and serene. Your roots are warm and secure, deep in the damp soil and blanket layer of thick leaves and pine needles. Your slender sleeping branches reach toward the patches of golden light in the sky. After many more arcs of the sun pass overhead, your trunk begins to expand and widen, and your limbs grow tough and harden with a thick coat of bark. Ever growing upwards and outwards, the rains come and roots that were none, once no longer than tiny fingers flex and lengthen, diving down deeper into the dark fertile soil of the forest floor. Dark green leaves unfurl in expectation of more sun and more rain to nourish them. The woodland greets you every day with its symphony as the sun grows hotter again and the animals of the forest, seeking shade for themselves, drink the moisture collected on your leaves and stems. Tiny fairy folk, little tree folk, Take their respite in your branches in the heat of the season, and you feel a longing and connection to their song. Nearby, under the dark velvety cover of night, several ancient trees fall in rains that drive down hard and fierce. The wind blows and the forest shakes with thunder. The limbs and bodies of close trees cradle their fall and hold them until their decay gives way to the forest floor again and begins the cycle of nourishment and life. Still firmly rooted to Mother Earth, your bark hardens ever more as you grow upward toward the patches of golden light in the sky. Your limbs stretch up and out in a wide berth, embracing the forest air and ribbons of sunlight. Your collective awareness from nature is broad and vastly deep. You are more than landscape. You are necessity. You are protection, food, shade. You give life to those living things around you. You are enabling new ecosystems. More arcs of the sun pass over and your trunk is now wide and deeply rooted. Winters come and go and the spring greets you each time with contrast of both gentle and fierce rains. The symphony of the woodland waking continues. Your vibrant, living body is home now to many animals and insects. There is an endless bustle of life, shifting and changing, moving in rhythm. And in the pollen-filled sunlight, your strong, long limbs stretch out far and deep into the forest, thick from the passage of time and life-giving nourishment from deep underneath the forest floor. In the greenness of the woodland, witness to the music of the forest deep, in the damp cool breeze that blows early on a summer morning, a slow warm sensation begins to ascend. A deeply contented feeling begins to rise, spreading up from the fertile soil and into your deep and strong roots. Up into your thick trunk, a potential life force rising up in your sap, up into the limbs and out onto the branches and leaves until all of you glows with the radiant and pulsating energy of Mother Earth. You vibrate with intensity and feel the energy move in waves from your roots out to the tips of your leaves. The forest hums all around you and the sunlight cascades down in shifting patterns onto the forest floor. 
Above you, you see a wide expanse of sky spanning from leaf to leaf. The only obstacle between you and the golden light of the sun are your own lush green leaves. Open and immense, the sky looms brilliant blue and the sun is a sparkling orb of golden light. You feel elated. You are centered. You feel aware. You feel connected. You have reached a place of power. From this point, your tree body may dissipate like a misty fog. And you find that you are free to move to explore wherever and whatever you need to explore. You may obtain wisdom and guidance from energies and spirits and guides that you meet here. You will have time now to continue to explore. Gently notice the sounds, the smells, the sights, the tastes, so that you may identify this as a place of power whenever you would like to return.